I just recorded this live chat using WM Capture. It was super easy to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So you'll know how to not only record chats like this one, but the steps I'll use are the same steps that you would use to record a webinar or really any live stream. The first thing I did to get WM Capture ready to record that chat session was open the program and go to settings. Click on the settings screen. I went to recommended settings and in here you'll see there are two options for full screen webinars. Even though this says webinars, this is the setting I'm going to use for the chat window because I know I want to get the entire chat and I have the chat window set up on my other monitor. So while I'm working on this monitor, the chat was happening on monitor too. So I know I want to record full screen. I'm going to use this full screen webinar mode. So then how do I know if I want full screen webinars in MPEG format or full screen webinars in WMV? Well, I'll tell you right now, MPEG is a better quality recording. It's got a lot of data in it. Your image is going to be really rich. It's going to be very clear. WMV is got a lot less data. You're going to have a much smaller size recorded file at the end of it, but it's not going to be as rich. For webinars, WMV is often just fine because a lot of times what you're looking at on a webinar is text. You don't need a full rich image. But for chat, you might want to use the MPEG format. Just know that it's going to be a much bigger file. And let me show you an example that I got from recording my chat session using both formats. So here is the Google Hangout file in the MPEG format and it's two minutes long and it's 51,000 kilobytes. And here is the Google Hangouts video using the WMV format. It's slightly longer, two and a half minutes long, and it is about a third of the size. So if you know your chat session is going to be a particularly long one, you may opt for the WMV format because you know you'll get a smaller size file. You won't be filling up your hard drive as quickly. But again, you're going to sacrifice in the quality of the image. So here are the two recordings I made. The one on the left is the WMV recording. The one on the right is the MPEG recording. The quality and the colors are just so much richer in the MPEG version than the WMV version. You have to remember that you're, you're going to pay for that additional quality in the sense that you're going to have a much bigger file. So really choose when you want to use the full screen WMV version versus the full screen MPEG version. So if I have the space on my PC, I know that I'm not going to be recording a long, like a two hour file. I will opt for MPEG every time. So I go to recommended settings, I go to full screen webinars MPEG2, I click OK. It then asks me which of my two monitors I want to record. I know that monitor two is my other monitor and so I click OK. I then click close and all I have to do now is hit record and there it is. It's recording my chat window for me in beautiful quality and that's really it. So simple. I have this entire monitor to use for other things now and then playback is so simple. I just click play and here is my beautiful recording. It's awesome quality. It's really, really clear. So there you go. You got every tool you need now to capture anything that streams on your PC, including live chat and webinars. Thanks.